You there! You take me to the island, please. No. What? No. What do you mean, no? I, uh, heavens, ma'am, why do you think you're here? I mean, I, I mean, why not? Because it's too late, that's why not. I'm going back for my tea. Ask me first thing in the morning. First thing in the morning? Damn it, man. I've got to be back in France by tomorrow night. And that be your problem. I see. Let me make it worth your while. That's right. Why does anybody have to live in such an isolated spot? That Mrs. Santander, he do say she be lovesick. Lovesick? What's that supposed to mean? Ask no questions. No further. Thank you. very much again. It's a pleasure to have you here again, sir. It's been a long time. Black Collins is something that I hardly need to be reminded of. You look somewhat wet. Yes, it's, it's that damn tide. The boatman, unfortunately, had to put me down on the beach of all places. Ah, oh, that can be very tricky, sir. Perhaps you will permit me to run you a bar. It would give me some time to attend to your uniform. Collins, your ability to organize are without question brilliant. We could do with more of your type on the front. 
I saw service in Africa, sir, but because of my age, I must leave this foray in the capable hands of young gentlemen like yourself. You were indeed lucky to find the boatman at this hour. What? Oh, yes, he was a very silly fellow. Still, wet through or not, I'm here, and that's the main thing. Ask Jenny. I mean, Mrs. Santander. I have not seen my lady for the last hour. I imagine. She knows that I'm coming, though, doesn't she? I mean, she got my letter. Oh, indeed, sir. I remember this arrival most distinctly. <laughs> Since then, she has talked of very little else. <laughs> the most special arrangements have been made. That dinner will be served at eight, sir. Oh, excellent. To obviate the chill, sir, may I suggest some brandy? Ah, uh, thank you. No, I think I'll take a whiskey with a dash of soda, thank you. Down, Collins.
Collins, you're all right. Need any help? Oh, um, I, 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 who are you? Me? Me? I'm an engineer. Or perhaps electrician is the more modern word. I'm the manager of the company in charge of the electrical installations. I'm sorry to say, Mrs. Santander has been experiencing a certain amount of difficulty. Most of my best men have volunteered. That's why I'm here. Um. Hey, um, has Mrs. Santander had any trouble with the cable over from the mainland? Mrs. Santander has a generator at the back of the house. Oh, yes, of course. I forgot. Did you, sir? Or did you think perhaps I was some kind of an intruder? Burglar? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I must say that it would go through my mind. Mm. Can't be too careful. No, indeed one can't. I'm sorry if I gave you any inconvenience. Mending the fuses. No, not at all. But being as you are uh, an electrician, then maybe you could uh, have a word with Mrs. Santander about the lighting in the conservatory. The conservatory? Hmm. Black as your hat in there. I don't know what your fellows do with the switches, but they're almost impossible to find. Uh, well, why don't you have a word with her when she comes down? Is she uh, coming down? Oh, yes. Any uh, minute now, I'm expecting her. Oh, why don't you come in? No, no, no. It's, it's, it's getting late and I really must be on my way. Uh, oh, by the way, this company of mine, it's small, but though I say so myself, it's, uh, it's quite one of the best. Do you live in London? Uh, uh, yes, I do. Let me give you my card. I do have a London office. One never knows. Hmm? No, no. I'm afraid I've mislaid it. I'm sure I left one in there somewhere this evening. It's somewhere about. Anyway, Mrs. Santander will give you all the details. Good night. Good night. Santander is very late, sir. Yes, indeed she is, isn't she? <laughs> Not that she's ever been known to be the most punctual lady in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, about that man. Man, sir? Yes, you must have seen him. He's uh, some tradesman or other. Um, man who came to deal with the lighting. I'm sorry, I don't understand. I don't understand. I mean, all the lights went out. They remained perfectly normal in the servants' quarters. Oh, did they? Oh, they didn't hear. Uh, no, he was, uh, uh, apparently, he was checking the fuses. I know of no such person, sir. And I would have been informed. Yes, well, informed or not. He was here only a minute ago. I'm surprised you didn't pass him in the hall. Anyway, it's late. I suggest that you call the boatman on the mainland, get him to come over here and fetch him, otherwise he's going to be stuck here for the night. But it's very late, sir, and quite dark. Damn it, Collins! I know it's late, but it's his job. Here we are, stuck in the middle of some war, and the bo wretched boatman can't afford to spend half an hour of his precious time, and really. As you say, sir. Thank you, God.
Sir. Lieutenant Simmons. I've been out, sir, and around the grounds. They are quite deserted, and there's certainly no one on the landing stage. All right. So if you'll pardon me for saying so, sir, it would seem pointless to send for the boatman at such an hour. Colin. Regular. this. May I inquire? By the service, sir. I'm afraid I don't understand, sir. It certainly wasn't there earlier this evening. Sure. Quite sure. I brought the tray in myself. And I would scarcely have not noticed it. In case, how do you account for it? I'm quite at a loss, sir. I mean, apart from yourself and... Uh... Collins. Sir? Tell me, is this Mr. Morris Santander? Is he, um... tall? Well-built, distinguished, graying, 50 -ish? I understood that you had never met the gentleman, sir, but that indeed is a perfect description. Uh, may I... You're not suggesting... I'm not suggesting anything, Collins. Merely that you return to your quarters. I'm going upstairs if I can find Mrs. Santander. Jenny. I telephoned you, sir, but the line appeared to go dead. I've come to inform you that dinner is about to be served. Where is Mrs. Santander? I'm afraid we've been laboring under a misapprehension, sir. It appears she left for the mainland sometime late this afternoon. Well, uh, so it would seem, sir. So, I am to dine alone? Uh, Mr. Santander conveys his best wishes, sir, and asks you to join him in the dining room. I see. I see. Well, in that case, Collins, I think then you should lead the way. Sir. Sir. Tell me, what manner of mood is this Mr. Santander in? In truth, sir, I've never been long enough with the master at any time to understand his moods. His, um... Yes? Uh, temperament is such that I think it would be prudent for you to remember that he spent much of his time in Latin America. Do you wait here when I go to my room?
Mr. Santander, Lieutenant George Simpson, sir. Thank you, Collins. Some wine? Yes. Oh, what am I thinking of? You must be hungry. Collins! Collins! You do appreciate, sir, that uh, at this particular moment, I have very little appetite. We shall be dining in a few minutes. Very good, sir. Tell me, sir, mm -hmm. why did you elect to pretend to be an electrician earlier this evening? Oh, that. Yeah. An intriguing charade. I thought I handled it rather well. That, sir, does not answer my question. Well, I regret, sir, that it's the only answer you're going to get. I can only speak for myself, of course, but moments such as these are mercifully few in one's life. I did not exactly relish this confrontation, but merely thought it should take place in more civilized surroundings. A meeting such as ours can hardly be conducted within the confines of a broom cupboard, don't you think? You're not drinking. Oh, oh I thank you, sir, but I drink very little. That surprises me. My wife. My wife. Had a considerable bill with the local merchants. Had? You make it sound. It's been paid. Settled. I had one or two things to settle. No, I don't think it'd be necessary. No. No. That's why I came back. Pay. Settle. Mr. Santander, there are certain aspects of your behavior that I simply do not understand. Indeed? However, I would like you to realize... As for the wine bill, please don't think for one moment that I attribute all my wife's expenditure to you. Um, I'm sorry, I simply don't understand. Do you think that you are the only one of her lovers? Hmm? <laughs> she herself mentioned you... Um, once, just once, you are the least of her lovers. If you are aware of all this, then... Why? Because I wanted one of them. Somebody, anybody. Lieutenant George Simmons of the 9th Infantry. See, I've hurt my finger. Hmm? How do you suppose I did that? How torn the nail is. Perhaps you did it in, in your professional capacity as an electrician, dealing with the, uh, the lights in the, in, in the conservatory. You're very warm. Very damn warm. Come with me into the conservatory. I want to show you something. Can you see? Do you know now how I hurt my finger? I caught it, my dear lieutenant, moving the dead body of my wife. Lieutenant Simmons. Anything the matter, sir?
the poor creature. Death must have been instantaneous. I will telephone the police, sir. They'll be over in an hour. We asked if you would be good enough to remain. Damn, please. Where is Santander? Mr. Santander, sir? Why, he's in South America. <laughs> <laughs> 